CBS 46 News is getting results after we were alerted to a dangerous sidewalk situation. Large limbs are blocking a sidewalk, forcing people to walk in traffic in a very busy street just to get around the debris. CBS 46's Vince Sims pushing the city of Atlanta to clean this mess up. He joins us live. Vince, you got some results. All right, thanks to us stepping in and getting involved in this situation, the city of Atlanta says this will be cleaned up within just a matter of a few days. But for the people who use this sidewalk and now have to use the street just to get around it, they say that when this is cleaned up, the day it happens can't come soon enough. It's been a couple of weeks. It's very dangerous. 60 miles an hour coming down this hill. It might not be so dangerous if people could walk on the sidewalk. But on Northside Drive, near 17th Street, limbs are blocking the path. This is the, bat, the worst of it right here. That means anyone walking this way is forced into the street to get around it, like Ray Ransom, who works nearby fall. and walks it every day. I have to come down to a certain point where all the limbs and stuff are, stand there, look around, look up the street so no cars are coming down. And then I have to venture out in the road, go around the limbs, get back on the sidewalk, and then walk on down. Recent storms knocked the limbs into the road about two weeks ago. Crews cleared the road, but left the limbs blocking the sidewalk and creating a hazard. I could walk here and trip up and fall in the street and maybe get hit by a car or anything. It makes me feel like they don't care about the pedestrians. You know, I mean, it needs to be fixed. Working to get results, I alerted the city of Atlanta to the problem, and I'm told crews will have this cleared in the next two or three days. But there's another issue as well. If you keep walking, there are more limbs that keep falling. The city says that is the responsibility of the property owner and an inspector will be informing them of the situation. All right, so the clock is ticking, city of Atlanta. You said 48 to 72 hours. We will be keeping an eye on that and holding the city accountable to its pedestrians and keeping things safe. Reporting live and getting results, I'm Vince Sims, CBS 46 News. Excellent job, Vince. And if you have something you want us to investigate, call 404-327-3131 or email the investigators at cbs46.com. We'll work to get results.